Hello, my name is Chris and I'm a U-Haul hitch professional. Putting a hitch in your Ford Bronco Sport can lead to some amazing adventures, such as biking, camping, or trips to the lake. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Now let me show you how to complete this install. You will need the following tools and supplies to complete this installation. We will begin by opening the cargo area so we can take out the taillights. We're going to remove this trim piece by gently prying outward. Remove two bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. We can now remove the tail light by pulling gently outward and using a trim panel tool if you need. Give it a gentle wiggle. Now you can remove the electrical connector. Repeat for the other side. Use a trim panel or screwdriver to remove this body trim clip. You can now remove five trim clips from behind each wheel well. Use a screwdriver to raise the center portion and a trim panel removal tool can help you pull it out the rest of the way. Repeat for the other side. You're now ready to remove the trim over the wheel. These clips are in there very stiff and a small pencil screwdriver can help you push down on the tab so you can pull it away from the vehicle without breaking them. The third clip in is more of a trim retainer clip and so a little trim retainer tool and outward pressure will pop that one out as well as number four right here. You can now remove one single bolt with an eight millimeter socket. Two seven millimeter bolts just behind each wheel. Four remaining seven millimeter bolts under the bottom of the vehicle. You can now gently remove the bumper fascia. Repeat for the other side and gently work your way to the center. Before you remove the bumper fascia, you need to disconnect the electrical sensor connection. You can now remove six bolts with an eight millimeter socket. Now you can gently pry outward with some sort of screwdriver or trim panel tool. There's one clip and a post in the vehicle. For ease of access to the bumper beam bolts, we're going to lower the exhaust. First, we will support it with a strap. You can now remove the exhaust bolt with a 10 millimeter socket. On the passenger side, you will remove one 10 millimeter nut on the exhaust bolt, and then you can remove the 10 millimeter exhaust bolt. You can now remove four factory flange nuts per side. Two are visible using a 15 millimeter socket and an extension. The two additional flange nuts are underneath. Once you have your final bolt loose with the tool, it is best to support the bumper beam with a shoulder or one of your arms while you remove the final nut so the bumper beam does not fall on you or your feet. And then remove the beam. We're now ready to place the hitch onto the vehicle. Be sure to have two flange nuts in your hand. Loosely install two flange nuts on the opposite side to keep the hitch in place while we install new hardware. Use the provided hardware, conical tooth washer, teeth facing the hitch onto the bolt. 
Repeat for the other side. You can now torque the bolts to manufacturer specifications. You can now move to the bottom bolts by using a 15 millimeter wrench to hold the factory flange nut and a 17 millimeter socket to torque the new bolt. Repeat for the other side. Now return to your 15 millimeter socket for the final two nuts. You can now reinstall the bumper support Now reinstall your six bolts with an eight millimeter. You can now trim the bumper fascia by removing a four inch by five inch chunk of plastic. After you make a few marks, use masking tape to draw the shape making your cuts easier and straighter. We can now use a file to clean up all this excess plastic. It's usually best to push it forward, back and forth motion will create more friction and more frayed plastic. Continue all the way around. Now that we have cleaned up all the frayed plastic, we're gonna go ahead and add what we call some trim lock. Go ahead and make it look a little bit better. Show you how we do that. Wiggle it on there. You can now return the bumper fascia to the vehicle. Be sure and line up the clips. Now be sure and make sure all clips on the bumper have pushed in and locked in. You'll hear some clicking. You can now reinstall the hidden bolt. Now click back in the wheel well trim. Five trim retainer clips in the wheel well. One more trim clip in the tail light recess. You can now repeat these steps on the other side. Don't forget to reconnect the electrical connector. You can access it from underneath. You can now reinstall the eight previously removed bolts from underneath the vehicle. Reinstall the exhaust bolts. Do not forget to take off your strap. Now reinstall your tail lights. Get your two clips to pull back in. Reinstall your 10 millimeter nuts. Reinstall the tail light trim. Repeat on the other tail light. Now that our hitch is installed, we've pulled the vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements. This is a two inch hitch receiver. Pinhole to the end of the bumper is four inches. The distance from the ground to the top of the receiver is 15 inches. These measurements will help you determine the necessary length, rise, or drop of your hitch accessories like a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with your local U-Haul hitch professional, please visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.